Wednesday. Wednesday. Well said. Night. It's 9.30. It's Wednesday, my dudes. It's Wednesday, my dudes. We have an M1 Mac. A 16-inch MacBook Pro. My first 16-inch MacBook Pro. We're going to do an impromptu unboxing. Look at this. They give us a tab. Ooh. 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 Butterfly. Ooh, ah. Hoochie mama. <laughs> Look at that. Nothing beats a new Mac. Okay. Graphic does not ship with uh, Monterey. Very period correct 2005 <laughs> MacBook. Apple logo. Specs. Pull tab. MacBook Pro. Apple logo. MacBook Pro. Apple logo. Let's go deeper. Ooh. Just like an iPhone. Mm -hmm. You can't hear it on camera, but you can in person. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. There we go. Get that out of here. It's big. It's a 16 inch. Look at the graphics they chose. Do you see the notch? Oh, no. Uh, no. no, until you do. Until you do. Until yeah, you then, do. Then you can't so it's there. It. They can point it out, but it's not noticeable. Who's ready? I'm ready. Do it. Oh, look at that. Wow, the Apple logo is gigantic. It is really mm. big. Mm. Pull tab. Oh, oh wow, that is dense. It's a, be it's a beast. Wow, that is a monster. It's a beast. Let's put that to the side. Let's see what we really get. We get the USB-C to MagSafe connector with the braided. Very well packaged. Designed in California by Apple. Mm -hmm. Same nice shit. And as I've seen in all the other videos, we have black Apple stickers this year. Do we? Did I lose them? Where are they? Yeah, they're nice still. There you go. There they are. Look at that. Massive, too. One for Canon's M5 and one for the M3. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll kill me twice. Yeah. Well, only once. Then Look matter. at the size of the brick. Wow, very rectangular. No longer a square. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> keep Put that out of the way. Um, in the meantime, I'm not going to need this because it works with the other ones. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Gotta go upside down. I can't get over how chunky it is. Oh wow. Mm. 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 Oh. oh my god, it's so retro. It's huge. It almost looks big. more like a power book than it does. Yeah. It's actually big. Man. And it will never be better than right now. Nope, that is true. That's the worst part. It's only going to get dented, scratched, smudged. Hell. Oh. English? Look at that notch. Wow. Huge ass escape key. Let's do Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. CB shaft, boots, joints, axle, replace all of it, no way around it. We have to mark it on most of the parts here. Well, we swap in factory parts. <laughs> oh, and I noticed you had some sort of gumpy buildup in the front end here. First, I had no idea what I was looking at. And I remember that you had to replace that front fender. The M1's not enough. Right on that gear. <laughs> we need Pentium. Brian's first beach ball. 
It can't be. No. What is it doing? I don't know. Anything else? That's it. Zero balance, like I said. Sign you. Look at the rounded corner. All right, we'll oh. come. We'll come back in a minute once you look at Look how sexy it is. Okay, the dot o one update is installing. We're about two hours into setup. I am setting this thing up, new, fresh. I have not set up a Mac fresh now since they went from like the the thick MacBook Pro to the thin MacBook Pro. Not even the Touch Bar. You know what I'm talking about? We're like 2015. Let me flip the camera around. We are way back when I last set this thing up. It's like three different laptops ago, 15 different specific motherboards ago, and 25 different backups ago. It's been a long ass time since I've done this, uh, but I figured it's time. Switching to Apple Silicon, it is time. I've totally lost track of time. It is 12.10 in the morning. I've been setting this thing up for a couple of hours. Um, I'll keep tonight short. Initial impressions, what everybody else is saying. It is a throwback to a time when I didn't even use Apple products, like the the iBook G4, I, is that even a thing? MacBook, Mac Pro, iMac, Mac, something. It's thick, it's meaty, it's thick, it is a powerhouse, yet it doesn't feel old. It's just bigger than what we're used to. And this black keyboard is totally throwing me off. Um, it's bigger, it's heavier, I don't love that. I really like the form factor of what I'm coming from, but there was a reliability, there was a maintenance issue with what I'm coming from that I'm hoping is improved in this one. And the performance in this thing so far, my God, it's fast. Everything you click, just pop, it's there. No waiting, no more beach ball. Every time I would open iMessage.app, I would get the beach ball for like 10 seconds, and then it would populate. You'd switch conversations from Nate to Bobby, beach ball, beach ball, beach ball. It's like, is an i9 not enough power? Really? Is it maxing six cores? No, it wasn't. I would look an activity monitor. 32 gigabytes of RAM was not full. So what the problem was, why it couldn't switch, I don't understand what the bottleneck was. But the old Mac, just beach ball. It couldn't handle it. Not enough power, not enough resources. The new one, click, 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 bam, right there. You click the name, it's there. Yes, it still has more content to download. Yes, it will probably slow down more, but my God, it's fast. So I have a shit ton of data to move over with the exception of a virtual machine because that's not gonna work. Uh, lots more setup to go, as I just said, but we're making good progress so far. Initial impressions are flawless. Um, keyboard, phenomenal. Trackpad, same as before. Display, phenomenal. My biggest complaint is probably just that it's a little bit heftier and it feels a little bit older from a form factor perspective where generally each new update is thinner and lighter except the one that I'm coming from, a 2018, is the thinnest and lightest 15-inch MacBook Pro slash 16-inch MacBook Pro ever made. When they went to the 16, the 2019, it got a little bit thicker, it got a little bit heavier. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, to get the extra screen size, they had to bulk it up. It'll trim down in the next update. It didn't. Uh, maybe it will in the next one, in the next two. It's very minor. It's not a big deal. But that is the biggest downside I can come up with. And it's not a big downside. It's just something I'm noticing. Uh, that within about 10 minutes, I won't notice, like the screen notch. The screen notch, you notice for 30 seconds, and then it blurs into the background, just like it did on the iPhone 10 and the 10s, the 11, the 12, and the 13. You don't notice it anymore. I'm looking at it right now, although they've hidden it very well with the boxed-off camera lens, but you don't notice it. It's, it's a non-factor. <clears throat> so I'm going to get this updated at 1201. I just updated a whole bunch of applications. I've moved over about 50 gigs of content, done a bunch of applications set up. This is going to spill over into weeks, um, a couple of days full time, probably, but a couple of weeks. Oh, this setting needs to be tweaked. This little thing in the registry, Apple registry needs to be tweaked. Minor little stuff is going to take time. That's how it goes. With that, it's 1210. I am freaking tired. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm going to bed. We go to bed. Fuego tonight. Had a great dinner. Had a busy day at the shop. Lots going on. Uh, some good, some bad. I'll update you tomorrow. That's all I got. Good night.